Not long ago, Muslim campers mostly wanted guidance for dealing with tensions between their all-American sensibilities and their foreign-born parents' rules imported from back home, such as no attending sleepovers or going to prom. Today, the kids ask darker questions. And even the youngest campers understand that much of the country, perhaps including the president, refuses to see them as fellow Americans. Do you let your classmates know you're Muslim? That's a common one. Is it better to let them know or keep it quiet? Security measures introduced at the camp follow the deepening of anti-Muslim sentiment over time. In the 1990s, organizers recalled skinheads harassed the camp, leading to the formation of safety patrols that year. After the 9-11 attacks, camp leaders received an emailed threat vowing to come after the children with knives, so they stopped publishing the camp's address. Good evening, assalamu alaikum. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you to the RCC for including me in this really long and rich tradition, um, and also for having the coolest looking awards in journalism. <laughs> and, uh, and I really, I'm so grateful to BuzzFeed. My beat is called US Muslim Life. And um, it was created in recognition that the challenges Muslim, American Muslims are facing today and how this government, um, how the United States deals with more than um, three million people living here is among the most urgent uh, civil rights questions of our day. Uh, so I'm really grateful for the specificity of the beat, for the fact that it exists, and most of all, though, to the many families across the country who welcomed me into their homes and their mosques and their schools and their camps um, to share stories not only of their fear and anxiety, but also uh, their resilience. Thank you. <laughs>